We started uh, the excavation on the 14th of February. Um, so we have the excavator in digging the hole down for the turbine pit. The turbine pit is three metres by three metres wide and it's 2.4 metres deep. Uh, we need to be at 2.4 metres deep. It's important for the head height of the water for the actual turbine itself. All the digging was going really well till we hit about two metres and then we uncovered a old uh, culvert from the sewerage system from the Great Mill which was the second mill built round about 1776. So because we're, being, uh, we're doing this with an archaeologist who's monitoring everything we do, we had to stop at that point to record the findings and to understand that it was actually the culvert. Once we'd actually assessed that that was the original culvert and the old sewer system, it was deemed that it, uh, its, its significance now, in terms of not working anymore and defunct, can, the section can be removed, which allows us then to continue with our excavation, which is good. An archaeologist is recording everything as we go down through the various layers, and um, the problem we then hit after that was we hit bedrock. <laughs> so the bedrock is a problem to us because it's uh, obviously bedrock and it's really, really hard, and the, the excavator can't get through it with its bucket. So in actually today, on to my right actually, the the drill stroke pecker has arrived and uh, we're going to attach that to the excavator and we'll start very soon to make a lot of noise and start smashing into the rock to try and get down about, about a foot deep is what we would need to go. Now if the excavator can manage that, great. If it can't, we've also got an eight ton excavator with a bigger pecker on it which hopefully will be able to break up the stone and we carry on. So that's where we are at the moment. Uh, we have got some other digging to do just beyond for all of the uh, culvert ducts, the ducting for the cables, uh, which we'll do when we finish doing the, um, the turbine excavation. Okay, so it's expected to go on, we think the pecking, digging, drilling will take about three or four days. Once that's finished, we need to then remove the wall that's adjacent to the wheel pit. So there's a bit of rubble stone wall against the wheel pit that'll have to come off but we need permission authorization to do that it's probably half a day in that so we're talking about four or five days and this excavation will be finished ready for the civils to come in and start making the concrete housing for the turbine we've still got a little bit to do uh, next to it for the ducting and the cables but that's quite small in comparison so about another two or three days on that i think there's about three more days with uh, the archaeologists and then hopefully that's that part of the work's finished. The next stage after this is then we're moving into the actual forming of the new um, housings. So there's a housing for the turbine uh, enclosure. There's housing for a four-bay tank where the water comes into, settles, and the water feeds into the turbine through there. And actually in the original water course, we've got to remove the wooden stop logs and replace those by a, a permanent wall with a slope, with the water falling, with a steel grate, which will actually filter out any debris that would go into the turbine and form the in inlet for the turbine to come into. We've also got the water source heating system to install, which is really exciting because we're taking heat out of the water through uh, heat pumps to generate underfloor heating. Um, in total, we're aiming towards a finish in the end of August. That's subject to how things progress as we go along. Um, but the concreting will be the next phase of work in terms of those three elements of work. Uh, following that, of course, we've got the water wheel uh, to put in. And in conjunction with this, we're working on another old turbine we have in the village uh, to generate energy in the village that is part of the community interest company and providing income for the community uh, historic projects.